Today on Suncoast View, there are some regulations in the city of Sarasota about how homeowners can rent out their homes. We'll tell you how this could affect your vacation plans. A star of stage and screen pays us a visit and previews Beyond Glory, a one-man tribute to veterans that he stars in at the Van Wezel. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. A luxury cake designer shows us how to turn traditional gingerbread houses from bland to beautiful. All that and more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show. Happy Thursday and a big welcome to Candace McKellia, Thank our you. PR source of all great information. And uh, it's always nice to see you. Thank you. I, I come today with happy, feel good stories and news. So oh, we all need a little glad bit of that, to right? Yes. <laughs> that doesn't always happen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we do need that, I think. We you do. know, I mean, we, we can't create the events that happen in the world, but it sure is nice to be able to shine the light on some feel good stories. And that's what you're bringing us today. Yeah, and yeah. some great. wonderful things are happening around here but yeah. sometimes we focus on the bad things it's so. true right. it's uh, true so it's, it's a nice reminder to look for the good yes so we're looking to you Candace. one thing that yes. you brought us Candace, <laughs> is there was a really really nice fun community event that I know you mentioned is one of your favorites tell us about it it is so we're lucky to take part in this event every year Neil communities partners with a local school a local elementary school for their my favorite home student art contest this year it was yesterday it was the 19th annual event at Taylor Ranch Elementary School school and the art teacher works with the kids every student to draw their favorite home celebrity judges come in to pick the winners so we had county commissioner charles hines we had school board members eric robinson and jane goodwin and they pick um two ultimate winners to go on the neil communities and neil signature homes holiday card which is so much fun and the kids work is amazing and then uh pat neil and neil communities donate fifteen hundred dollars to the art department and oh. they're going to use it towards uh, technology at Taylor oh, Ranch. So, so these are they're drawing homes some of the Neils homes? No, they just draw their up. dream home, oh. whatever they oh. want to draw. So some uh, one student drew a double beach house <laughs> and one student drew a home with a gumball tree, a gumball machine machine oh, tree oh in their God. front oh, yard. Wow. And, the artwork is just amazing and creative and it's, you've got kindergartners all the way to fifth graders. So to see the difference, it's just heartwarming and it's one of my favorite events of the whole year. It'd be uh, fun to follow up and see if they ever live in those houses. Yeah. Yes, it would. Or if they become uh, artists one yes, day because yeah. some of them are really talented. Or architects, you know, like yes. I'm all for let's put them into the arts, but how nice too to see. I, I love the fact that they're using the art department as an art as a tool to, awesome. uh, to get involved with the community. So that's a really yeah. nice thing that Neil Communities is doing and uh, it's great that now they have some extra um, resources for the schools. Yes, so it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Oh, good stuff. That's just a preview of some of the stuff that Candace is bringing us. But speaking of extra resources and a little bit of tech, we are, I know I'm not being lazy by bringing my phone onto the set, <laughs> we are actually live on Facebook today. So if you want to see the behind the scenes, um, we often say sometimes it's some of the fun. There's a whole nother show that happens behind the scenes on the commercial breaks, but we are live on Facebook, so you can go on Facebook, go to Suncoast View, and you can watch on the television and watch along here. So, uh, yeah, so join us. It'll this be fun. This is a little bit scary. It is. It I is. know. We it's have to kind of watch us. what we say in the breaks. Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> You're keeping us honest. <laughs> My mic has a tendency to fall <laughs> off, and Joy has to reach over during commercials or when the camera's off and put it back on. Yes, in fact, they may have just seen that. So, <laughs> so if you see Joy reach over, it's my mic. He's it's okay. It yes, it's yes. Okay. We're all good. We're all good here. Well, we're all good in all areas today of the studio, especially in our Rice's Appliance Kitchen. We welcome back luxury cake designer Julie DeFonts. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi. What Ooh, are we making today? We are going to decorate gingerbread houses. Ooh. Yes. Now, you're, you have really set the bar very high with uh, because your design skills, uh, your decorating skills are amazing. So I love the fact that we're going to take what I would be a traditional gingerbread house for me, but we're going to turn these almost into like luxury homes I'm here. I'm so <laughs> excited for this. Yes. So yep. um, this is part of a class that you offer, right? Yeah, so I'm teaching a workshop in Lakewood Ranch on December 2nd, and um, it's for adults and children. Sometimes the adults come with the children, and sometimes the adults come on their own, but yeah, it'll be oh. a lot of fun. 
Oh, we're going to go. I'm going yes. to take my grandchildren. How fun to be able to do it. Now, we know you mainly for your cake decorating, which you're you know, very celebrated, won several awards. Um, but it, So it's nice to try a different form of edible um, decorating <laughs> with you. But well, tell I'm us a little bit more about your cakes. Well, my cakes, um, they're luxury wedding cakes, and they go from small, which would I would consider to be three or four tiers, up oh. to 35 tiers and nine feet tall. And so, we're looking wow. at one right now. That's Tell us gorgeous. about this cake. This was at the that Ringling. That was last weekend at the Ringling. Last it was weekend. a phenomenal wedding, amazing wedding. And um, this has a custom had a custom pattern based on the bride's dress. So I oh. drew out a pattern, and then I created it in sugar on some of the tiers. Oh, it's just yeah. gorgeous. did people eat that Stunning. cake? They sure did. <laughs> wow. It's like almost a crime to eat yes. it, right? <laughs> They're like works of art. But then I get when you taste yeah. them, you figure, okay, nope, that, yeah. that's that's worth eating. Well, great. We can't wait to join you a little later on. We're also going to learn a little bit more about the workshops that you have coming up. So it's a fun day. Fun day to be here for sure. Uh, set your alarms for tomorrow morning because there's a lot of buzz happening right now on this side of the Skyway Bridge because the Broadway blockbuster Hamilton is coming to Tampa's Strass Center in February. So it'll be here for four weeks, which is really amazing. It's running February 12th through March 10th. But tickets go on sale to the public this Friday, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So, all right, here's where you gotta listen. There are three ways to get tickets, of course, you can wait in line. So they have a wristband lottery that's starting at 5.30 in the morning. Oh my gosh. Um, you can also call the box office and hope to get through when they open oh, at nine. Yeah. There's no way to kind of get in a queue before that. So calling just, you, it's like the old days of calling the radio station. You can also go online to strazcenter.org backslash Hamilton. You will then go into, this is where it gets crazy, a virtual waiting room. I've heard of this. Yes. Oh. Starting at 6 a.m. So, and one little tip is go ahead and log on, maybe register with the Straz, because you know sometimes to buy tickets you have uh -huh. to already be, ooh, already be registered as a member. <laughs> Throwing excited. my cup, I'm He's so excited. excited. Yeah. <laughs> so you go into this virtual room, and then at nine o'clock when it opens, they will randomly put you in order. Right. Oh. So it isn't a matter of first come, first serve. They oh. do that with Comic Con. Oh, sure. So that's the only reason why I know about it. Mm -hmm. And I actually just remember that I forgot to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was last weekend. Yes. But I've heard of this and I've kind of been curious as to how that works. So yeah. it really is, I mean, it's gonna be kind of a, a little bit of a mad dash there. So to look at all the different ways you can do this, you can go online, of course, strasscenter.org backslash Hamilton. I understand you can only purchase four tickets per household. Oh, oh my God. I don't get this. Why don't they can sell so many tickets? The whole thing is about making money. Mm. Why don't they just take it to a lot of cities mm. and just make as many tickets available as they can sell? Yeah. So it seems like that would be a better way to make money. I, that's that's a great point. I don't know for certain, but what I what I would guess from from touring as an actor is because the show is here for four weeks, it's mm -hmm. in Tampa for four weeks, it, it sits down at, at, at locations for a long time and mm -hmm. sells out. So if you think about it, it's only there for four weeks, it can really only play 12 cities a year oh, at that rate. That's true. You know? So it's that's selling true. out probably every it's day It's selling out the, of the whole year. time that it's yeah. there, yeah. But you see only that cast, yes. which is what we want. Yeah. We yeah. want to see the best cast. We don't want to go see Hamilton with Some of these bigger cast. shows, they will usually launch several touring companies, right. uh -huh. but this is the first one. So and big, then big, do you think people news. can resell them after they buy? Well, right? that's a good point because the Straz oh. is being very clear about only tickets that are purchased through the Straz will, they can guarantee will be honored. So don't think that you can get them from a third party and uh, you'd be very disappointed pointed on a big night out yeah. <laughs> in February. Yeah. So uh, exciting stuff. So set your alarms if you're excited about Hamilton. Well, it is time for our first hot topic. And you might not know this, but there are rules in the city of Sarasota about how homeowners can rent out their homes. Currently, a minimum stay of eight days is required for rentals. Well, now a city commissioner is proposing allowing short-term rentals as long as the primary resident is there. This allows for homeowners to make more income from sites like Airbnb and vacation rental by owner. But some Lido Key residents are speaking out, saying rentals can be a frequent source of neighborhood disturbances, and that could get more frequent with more rental turnover. All right, I can see both sides of this story for sure, yeah. but would you want short-term rentals where you live if it meant more money for homeowners? 
Mm. I wouldn't. Mm. No. I no. wouldn't. And, and what's this about the homeowner being there? Yeah. So, so like you can rent out a one room. They would have to be on the property. Yes, they'd have to be present. So if you wanted to rent out, and which is common with Airbnb, you can rent a right. room or, or a side of a house. I've never done that. We've always gotten the house, mm -hmm. which right. I love. I right. really love Same that. Here. But I wouldn't want the owner to be sleeping in another bedroom. I well, know. what I've read is that the, the neighborhood that is concerned in Lido is saying, when you don't have the owner present, it really just allows for noise, disturbance, uh -huh. trash. I mean, where I live in Southgate, not a lot of people are going there to party. But when you're bringing people to the beach for vacation, yes. I mean, it does kind of lend oh, itself yeah. a little more to and reckless I've heard abandon. And people renting houses so they could party and trash the place, and it wasn't their problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I guess it's a good compromise if you want to sort of allow a little bit of the rental market to you know, be active, but I'm not sure many people will take advantage of it. Yeah, yes. I don't think so either. And I'm all for, like, I'm, I'm usually all for, yes, let's let everybody rent, let's let more people come mm -hmm. in, let's keep, you know, keep the excitement coming and the turnover and the, the revenue, but the neighborhood apparently is saying they're not enforcing some of the regulations that are present now, oh. so how do you guarantee that the homeowner is? I wouldn't want short-term rentals in my neighborhood. I, I mean, I've say be it. honest. I, in the neighborhood I just moved from, we had two on our street. Really? You would, and we also had a $9 million house on our street so it was not uh -huh. low income but we never knew we never knew until gossip sort of got around oh you know that's a rental mm -hmm. uh, and that's, uh, funny. that's the only <laughs> way we found out then of course we were all walking by looking <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's one rental that they reference in an article I believe in the observer that says there's a there is a rental available that is it sleeps up to 17 Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, you're basically, you're asking for, for right. a large group for a large right. party. So and What is it, like a 1,500 square foot yeah, house? Yeah, I mean, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> People are right. Lots of yes, yes. <laughs> You're going to get a fraternity to come. Yeah. Well, uh, we will follow up. The commissioners are obviously discussing this, and I believe it will be on the, uh, on the list for the commission meeting coming up on Monday, I think. So we'll keep an eye out for that. All right. First, they're sour, and then they're sweet is the slogan of the kids' favorite candy, Sour Patch Kids. But have you ever wanted to start your morning with Sour Patch? The answer is honestly no for most of us, but we're going to get it anyway. Post Cereal is releasing a Sour Patch Kids breakfast cereal exclusively at Walmart the day after Christmas for about $4 a box. It will come to infect other stores next that's a good June. Word. That's a infect. Good word. Yes, that's a nice verb. That'll wake you up. <laughs> yes. I mean, I've, I was never really a sweet cereal eater. I always wanted like the crunchy granola -y uh -huh. oatmeal even as a kid, but yeah. Sour Patch in the morning. I don't think of anything that could be worse. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was a huge fan of Frankenberry when oh. I was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that and sounds the, delicious. And the peanut butter, you know, uh, puff cereal. But yes. as a parent, I would never buy that cereal. No, I mean, it was sugar. Never. It was absolutely sugar. What was okay for me is not okay for my kids, right? <laughs> but have you noticed in cereal boxes, the same cereal, the same, used to be the same size, but they're much, much narrower. Yes. And, yes. and mu there's much less in there. I'll bet half. I thought at first it was because when I was a kid, I had smaller hands, but you go to take down a box of Fruit Loops and it was like this, but you're right, they're like little books now. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's amazing. Same Suddenly price. <laughs> shrank without telling you yes, that. Yes. So <laughs> people, read the ingredients mm -hmm. on that cereal before you buy it because yeah. I'm sure it's a lot of stuff you can't pronounce. Frankenberry. <laughs> if you ever mix Frankenberry and Count Chocula, it would blow your oh. mind. Yes. <laughs> so that's, that's a special little cheat meal for you. <laughs> I don't know if you want it for breakfast. Sweet and sour cereal after that. There you go. Well, we are going to check in with our mid-morning forecast, but when we come back, we're going to get a development update from Candace with lots of good news. Rain showers are being pushed southward as the front continues to press southward as well. That cold front ushering in some northerly winds that will draw our temperatures down uh, to cold as we've seen since last uh, fall. We're looking at uh, uh, some places outlined here in purple and blues that have freeze watches or warnings up. And many of the locations outlined here in pink have frozen rain on the ground and ice warnings up as well. That whole system lifts off to the north and to the east and brings uh, inclement weather to that section of the country and possibly some airport delays if you're traveling there. We're looking at a lot of cloud cover around, but also some holes in the clouds. Those holes in the clouds will become larger and larger and eventually bring us some sunny skies tomorrow. Tonight, we'll watch that cold air continue to drain southward, riding on that breezy north wind. Small craft advisories up, rip currents advisories up. We'll watch that uh, daytime high temperature begin to fall as well as we head into the afternoon, dipping into the 60s. 
The Suncoast skyline is ever-changing with new buildings and projects popping up from South County all the way up north in Manatee. Well, our guest host today, Candace McKellia, always keeps us in the know with the latest new development projects. And today she is joined by her colleague, Summer Smith, from WeDoGreatPR.com to give us the lowdown on the new projects. Well, welcome, Summer. Thank you. Oh, Summer, she's famous yeah. around oh, here. She uh -huh. is, I know. We're she, so she was a reporter on so many stations, Bay News nine last I remember yes oh my goodness when you were there I knew we were going to get the story right I'd follow you around so I could hear what you're oh, asking you're so sweet. And I was following you around <laughs> so <laughs> we did a good job well, well, we're very glad that you and Candace are now working together so that's great news we're really yes. excited we've known each other for a long time we're both moms we have so much in common and we're really excited to be working together oh. of course she's a former reporter too. yes it's true <laughs> it's true <laughs> well this is the dark side right. <laughs> which is why Candace always brings us the best new information so let's talk yes. a little bit about development. I know a lot of uh, <coughs> condos and residential growth usually steals the spotlight, but today you brought us some things that are a little more feel good and a little more in the community. Yes. Yeah, so the first thing I want to talk about is probably something everyone's seen. It's on the corner of 17th Street near Lockwood Ridge Road, mm -hmm. and it's a huge five acre campus that the All Star Children's Foundation is building for foster children. Oh. It's amazing. And they're building a 13,000 square foot clinical treatment facility that you see right here. And the cool thing about this is that there's a lot of facilities for foster children, but this one is transforming foster care through innovation, science, and compassion. The All-Star Children's Foundation has partnered with Johns Hopkins to really bring about evidence-based um, research that's going to help foster children get through trauma, traumatic events. Mm -hmm. oh. And they're going to have five homes, six homes rather, on this campus. And they're each going to have five bedrooms. Siblings are going to be able to stay together. And it's really amazing. Tandem Construction and Nutter Custom Construction are building the campus. You'll see it going up if you're in the area. And here's a model anytime. actually that you brought to us in the studio so yes. we can see the rendering. The idea that the kids, the siblings can stay together is huge. Yes. It's huge. And there's never been this type of organization built in the country where they're using scientific research to help reverse the effects of trauma in foster children to help them lead successful lives. So if you want to find out more about this, everybody should know about this. Go to allstarchildrensfoundation.org. That's wonderful. And you said that's on the corner of 17th and Lockwood Ridge. Yes. So what we've driven by but never really yes, knew exactly. what was happening. And it's such great news. This is part of kind of a bigger campaign I feel like is happening all over the Sun Coast of trying to help our youth early yes. while, while we can still make a difference as opposed to then trying to fix problems that happen later from not helping. Exactly. It's huge. It's really an important project and I think everybody should learn about it and get involved. Oh, how great. All right. Well, uh, you have some other things that you brought. So Summer, tell us a little bit about the Gene Witt. Tell us about what's happening there. Yeah, Gene Witt is off of Rye Road, State Road 64 in East Manatee County, East Bradenton. Mm -hmm. And that area is seeing a huge amount of growth with all the new construction, oh, yes. new developments. Well, Jean Witt has been uh, an elementary school 20 years, and um, it's exceeding capacity. So they are in the middle of adding some more classrooms, and they hired, the school district hired Half Acre Construction to add on some space, more classrooms. And in addition, here is the Jean Witt Memorial. This is an outdoor classroom, so Half Acre Construction in addition to the construction at the campus, they're adding this, just unveiled this memorial to honor Mr. Gene Witt, who oh. was superintendent of Manatee County Schools. I remember him so well. He was a really great guy. He was very well loved. He was mm -hmm. uh, with the school system for over 30 years. So anyway, last week they held a memorial celebration and his family was there to honor him. And it's an outdoor classroom setting just to uh, have the students go out there and um, a way to honor Mr. Witt. Oh, Very that's special. nice too. And it's nice oh, that they're oh. growing and this is a way to solve that. And going outdoors, we talked too about the need, like recess was, we're seeing recess go away. So to have an outdoor space to awesome. continue teaching mm -hmm. is just wonderful and in someone's honor is even better. Well, in what's special about this, I do want to add is Greg Witt, his grandson works for Half Acre Construction, so it's kind of- oh, awesome. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, and he's leading the yeah, construction. Oh, so, yeah. that's, that's a feel good. That, that, that got me in the yeah. feels right there. <laughs> 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 All right, tell us about it, Canoe Creek, what's happening? Oh, Canoe Creek, if you have not seen this community, you'll want to go by and visit the model homes, which that might get you in trouble. Canoe <laughs> Creek is on Golf Course Road in Parrish, so off of Rye Road, mm -hmm. you can get there, and Golf Course Road, one of Neil Community's newest uh, communities. It is absolutely beautiful. It hits all the trends. Don't you think, Candace? It absolutely. has the coastal look, all the whites, the, the darker cabinets. I mean, they have a variety, but here you're looking at some of the model homes. 
very well priced, but you want to move right into the models. It's um, got that modern yeah. farmhouse. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. How, and that's kind of telling too of what we're seeing in Parish. So much growth. Yeah. I remember several, a few years ago when people were moving up to Parish, thinking, oh, we'll never see you again. Where are you going? Yeah. But it's really exciting to see all the growth and so many great families up there. Great news today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Candace. Yeah. Thank you, Summer. Lots of feel-good stuff, and we're going to keep that momentum going. When we come back, we're going to give you some ways to relieve or get ahead of holiday stress. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cbc.gov concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Happy Honda Days are here, and you're gonna like the holiday clearance savings. Save on the Accord, on sale for just $249 a month. That's the North American Car of the Year for less than the competition. Our most impressive Honda ever. On clearance for only $249 a month, loaded with more options, including a turbocharged engine and Honda Sensing. Do not miss these Honda clearance savings this week at your local Honda dealer. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, fishing, or biking and hiking. Or play the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy the flavors of the Black Belt. Book your adventure at our lodges or stay in the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. ABC7 on Facebook to stay connected to the team you trust. And right, welcome back. We are having fun going live on Facebook. So if you want to see the behind the scenes, and we always say the show that happens in between the show, you can join us on Facebook. Go to Suncoast View and tune in, and we are live right there. So we said hello to uh, a dozen of our friends that are yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah. We know in other states. Exactly. It's Someone amazing. from Ireland So who knew Linda. Oh, so it's yeah. very exciting. And let's be honest, your dad. So. I know, and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we all love the Sun Coast, and in case you needed another reason to love our sunny life here, Living here appears to be good for your heart. This is more good news. Swedish researchers have found that more people have heart attacks when the weather is bad. Hmm. Lower temperatures, higher wind speeds, and less sunshine are all related to more heart attacks. Apparently, to add to it, flu and depression are also more common in colder climates. I don't know that this might is new new to us because we have heard about you know seasonal yes. seasonal affective yes. disorder is a real thing. Mm -hmm. It makes you very depressed in the winter time yeah. when the skies get gray and I know people use sun lamps and everything mm -hmm. to avoid it. You just come down here and you avoid it totally. Oh so absolutely. It's a great thing and you want to get out when it's sunny. Mm -hmm. You don't just want to sit in the house you want to get out there and walk and do something. Yes. Absolutely. And, and I think too it is also the way that you live in when, when you're in the winter. I mean coming mm -hmm. from 
Syracuse, New York, you basically, you shut yourself you in for yeah. six yes. to eight months. <laughs> um, yes, and but here you can still be active, you can still be outside, you can see the beach, you can, you can do things. So I, I, I mean, I love this idea and I, I can see it when Northerners come down here, yeah. how they change. Just, Isn't just that funny? You're calling carriage. them Northerners? I know. <laughs> a guy from Syracuse is talking about Northerners. When Yankees <laughs> come down yeah. right now. I'm truly a Southerner now by heart. It's the, the sun is very therapeutic, though. I mean, you know, in moderation. Yeah, like everything. oh, sure. Yeah. But yeah, vitamin D, and mm -hmm. it, it, it cures jaundice babies, you know, the light. <laughs> yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And we do have a very active lifestyle here because the weather is, supports it. So that's an, an, another good reason to chalk up here, which is nice. Well, we can call it a sign of the times, but yoga and meditation have had a massive jump in the U.S. How large a jump exactly? 55% more Americans are practicing yoga and meditation has tripled. The CDC found that many Americans are looking for assistance with mental and physical issues without the need for pharmaceuticals. All right, I gotta ask, anybody here partake yoga meditation? I try meditation. It's very hard. I need a guide, I think, because mm. I sit there and then I start thinking about something else. Right. Uh, but I think it, it's really tremendous when you do it. Yeah. My meditation is running. I've mm. tried yoga and I just can't get into it. It just, same to your point, I'm <laughs> always thinking about other things. It's kind of boring to me. Mm. Running is my core kind of meditation. It's where you find your zen. Yeah. I, I have a hard time meditating because I always look at it as, oh, I don't have, I don't have 20 minutes right now to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> but I just uh, listened to a podcast that said, just the easy way to practice in the shower, Stop thinking about everything else and just think about taking a shower. Think about yeah. washing your hair. Think about washing your face. Just everything you're doing, and they said that's meditation. And even hmm. the practice of trying to be in the moment is practicing meditation. Oh, that's good. Yes. I will tell you, um, there's a teacher at Out of Door Academy who does meditate with her classes, and my daughter's been in her class before, and it's made a huge difference in my daughter's experience, and mm -hmm. she loves it. So oh, I think meditating yeah. for kids could be huge, Oh, too. absolutely, and if you, can, yeah. if you can get a child interested and meditating, Early. how great. Yes. It's, I've, yoga and meditation, I feel like, are both, I've always had this misconception that, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm not good at yoga. So I, but you practice it. You practice yoga, you practice meditation. Yeah. Yeah. I did it for many years, and I've started my routine all over again. So I am getting in shape. I started yesterday. Uh, don't see any difference yet. <laughs> but yoga is going to be one of the things I try. Yes, huh. great for, medi great, great for uh, flexibility and, mm -hmm. and, um, and breath support, posture balance, all those things. And obviously huge here on the Sun Coast. I mean, we have yeah. so many great yoga studios of all different practices. Power course, yoga. If I don't yoga. come to work, one day, you know, I can't get up off the floor, <laughs> so I'm still in my your yoga foot's position. Your behind your neck, or something's <laughs> up with that. Down That's why down. they call it practice. Well, <laughs> Linda will definitely get up for what's coming next. Actor Stephen Lang Woo! is here <laughs> to talk about his one-man show coming to the Van Wazel. You won't want to miss this. Christmas Tradition by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. Watch Saturdays at midnight on ABC7. Premieres September 8th. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. 
Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half, nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. Watch Suncoast View weekdays at 9 a.m. on ABC7. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check back in the kitchen with luxury cake designer Julie Defonce. Julie, tell us a little bit more about your upcoming gingerbread house workshop. Oh yeah, so it's December 2nd from 2 to 5, and um, it's going to be at the USF Culinary Innovation Lab in oh. Lakewood Ranch. Mm -hmm. And uh, what will we be doing, and is it good for the whole family, adults, kids? Yeah, it's good for anybody. Um, basically, you're going to get a house, well, a house like this, mm -hmm. and a room full of candy ah. and a piping <laughs> bag, and I'll be there to give some tips on how to pipe little decorations and how to make a tree and all that kind of stuff and just be there for a fun afternoon. How great, and yeah. to have you lead us through, we can maybe, maybe some of your decorating would rub off on us, which I wouldn't mind just a little of that. Mm -hmm. Well, we are gonna join you later on and we're looking forward to it, but that workshop is December 2nd at USF SM Culinary Innovation Lab. Linda? Most shows that come to the Van Wezel are meant to entertain us, but the show premiering here Monday night does far more than that. Beyond Glory shows us what the human spirit is capable of and holds us spellbound with the stories it tells. We welcome award-winning playwright, stage and screen star Stephen Lang. Oh, we are so happy to have you here, and of course you're the star of Beyond Glory. Now, everybody has gone wild when you walked into the station. <laughs> you have been in so many <laughs> movies, and, and you've done so many exciting things. We've all wanted our picture made with you. You're an Avatar, right? I am. I play Colonel Quaritch in Avatar in the original, and then we have four sequels that will be coming your way over the next four or five years, and uh, I uh, continue on. And Don't her. Breathe. You scared us to death in that one, right? That don't was a breathe, scary yeah, movie. Yeah, we got that one too, and I think mm -hmm. we'll do a sequel on that. And I have a new film. I'll just get this one out of the way. Yeah. Uh, December 14th from uh, the great Peter Jackson of Lord of the Rings. Oh. Uh, it's called Mortal Engines and it's coming to theaters all over the country and uh, I have a wonderful role in that. So that's coming as well. So Beyond Glory, yep. you took a book and adapted it into a play, a one-man solo play, mm -hmm. and you also played the lead. What inspired you to do that? Uh, I was looking for something. Back in uh, two, around 2003, I felt like I was underutilized. I was just sort of waiting for the phone to ring <laughs> as an actor. And I thought there are parts of myself that are kind of atrophying. And uh, I happened to read this book uh, written by a guy I knew. He had been managing editor of Parade Magazine. First-hand accounts of Medal of Honor recipients, living Medal of Honor recipients from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Mm. And as I read this book, it just, it just, it knocked me out. And I realized that within this marvelous piece of journalism, there was the kernel of a terrific piece of mm -hmm. stage craft, some kind of a theater piece. And I just began shaping it and trying to craft it. And the voices of these men started kind of coming through me and to me and I eventually crafted it into a solo performance piece in which I personify, embody eight Medal of Honor recipients from World War II, Korea and Vietnam, men of different backgrounds, men of different services, men of different wars, uh, and I really wanted to get as wide an array of America as I possibly could. I felt at the time, and I feel it even more today, 
that our nation has become fragmented, fractured, splintered in ways that are very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was important to do something that dealt with some principles and some themes that it doesn't matter where you stand uh, <laughs> politically, we can, we all share these common ideals, themes of humility and courage, of fortitude and fiber, and that's what these Medal of Honor recipients really displayed in wow. their actions and in the way they live their lives. And I wanted to do it in a vastly entertaining way. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to do something that I didn't know I could do. It's mm -hmm. a tour de force mm -hmm. for an actor. So when I get out there for 80 minutes with no intermission, just me and an audience and a foot locker where various pieces oh. of costume and the occasional prop may appear, basically it is, uh, it's just a, it's a difficult piece uh, for me to do. And uh, it always, I've done it over 400 times and it presents a challenge every time I do it. What does it mean to you to do it? Well, it means, it's a, it's a, um, it brings something to audiences that I believe is, is so important to me, which is the expression of everything I know about the craft of acting. It's what I do, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I want to do it as well as I can. But for audiences to see the, um, the, what it brings to them, a lot of people are affected by the show. Uh, they find that it, it speaks to things in their own lives. It gives them a certain amount of uh, insight into maybe why their, their dad never spoke about mm. his experiences in the war. Uh, so I don't mean to make it sound grim. It's mm -hmm. got its <laughs> dramatic and grim aspects to it, but it's also very, I think, funny. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I hope in the end uh, it, uh, it kind of provides a pathway towards, uh, towards hope and, uh, and, and a certain joy and optimism. Maybe patriotism, you know, mm -hmm. renewed patriotism. If maybe? it's patriotic, it's patriotic, <coughs> I think, on a fairly deep level, which is to say this play is not about flag waving at all. I love to wave the American flag. I love to wave it on the 4th of July and on Veterans Day, and I like to stand for the national anthem. But I'm not a big flag waver. There's mm -hmm. nothing, put it, jingoistic about mm -hmm. this. It's about this human beings. That's exactly right. The qualities that it celebrates are not exclusively American. Mm. They're human qualities, mm -hmm. I awesome. think. Well, you've gotten a lot of praise from the critics. The Washington Post says it's as starkly moving as taps at dusk. Wow, wow. Ooh, that touches the goosebumps. heart. Yeah. Yes. So what do you hope <laughs> the audiences walk away from this with? I hope they feel renewed. I hope they feel entertained. I hope they feel that their 80 minutes has been well spent and that they'll, uh, uh, and maybe they'll feel um, a little more empathy <laughs> with their fellow man. I hope they'll think about the vets mm -hmm. and about our active service and, uh, and what, you know, the, uh, the trials and the effort that they put out for all of us. But mostly I just hope they enjoy the show because that's what finally theater is really really about digging it. You know? Wow, yeah. well this sounds awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can see Stephen Lang in Beyond Glory at the Ben Wasel Performing Arts Center Monday, November 19th at 7.30. For tickets and information, go to thebenwasel.org. Next, we'll see how a local artist crafts his woodworking art collection. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good morning, I'm Ray Collins. Today at noon, a search is on for this man who police say tried to rob a store in Manatee County. Deputies say he ran off when the clerk 
hit the emergency button. And we could find out today who Florida's next governor will be. Recounts are due by 3 p.m. on three key races. We'll talk to a local political analyst about the chances of results being turned over. But first, a changing forecast now from John Scalzi. Absolutely. We have a big ridge of high pressure building in behind a cold front that moved through. That's going to continue pressing southward, clearing the state later today. And with that northerly wind, we'll watch our rains end under mostly cloudy skies. But then that wind bringing in drier air will cause the clouds to part as we head into the second half of the day. And it'll be much cooler tonight than we have seen in quite some time, with overnight lows dipping into the 50s. We'll watch a daytime high taper off in the afternoon into the 60s. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why it is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Introducing the ABC7 First Alert Weather Tracker. This all-new mobile weather lab is just one more way. The team you trust is keeping you ahead of the storms. The ABC7 First Alert Weather Tracker. Sponsored by Mr. Sparky, America's on-time electrician. Saturdays at midnight on ABC7. Welcome back. Suncoast resident Gaden Thomas had never had an art lesson. He'd never carved anything in his life. Then one day, he grabbed a carving tool and a piece of wood and started creating unbelievable works of art. Well, Gaden will be showing his work in the 17th annual Fall Creative Art Show and Sale on Saturday in Lakewood Ranch. And he's here with us today to show us how he does it. Welcome, Gaden. Thank you. So this is good news for several people who think, oh, I, I'm, I don't have an artistic bone in my body and it's too late for me to try. You just <laughs> one day picked it, picked it up and tried. I picked up a, a boot, a piece of wood, and I, I, I thought, well, what could, I'll try it. And I started, and then all of a sudden, there it was. Wow. There was the boot from I mean, a piece there, of wood. There was the boot, and then I thought, well, why don't you try something else? And the main thing is, I enjoyed it. Oh, I really. And when when I'm carving, um, there's nothing else going on in my mind. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, it, some people use sports, but there's nothing else. It just clears my mind. It's his meditation. Yes, yes. it is your meditation. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I want to see actually what, what the carving looks like. So you brought us a little piece well, of. Well, I just brought a little piece because what I use are is a big like Fordham machine and big and you can see my fingers have gotten wobby doodled here a little bit and so <laughs> a few uh, casualties of art. Oh yeah, yeah but uh, so I brought a little a, a small version that I use a lot of time doing eyeballs and eyelids and, okay. and it, you hear it, it goes on and then as you can probably see I've, I've fiddled with this booger here for a little bit and you can and you can hear that and you can see oh, yeah. see how you how it works oh, wow. how it comes along and the main thing is the main thing when you're carving is not to give up you just sometimes you'll think oh that just that's so ugly <laughs> but it's do you it's, look at something though or it's you, all well, in you, your head you, you can you can like do you look at a fish uh, when you're yeah yeah fish, you have a picture you have something okay. like that or sometimes it when like uh, when i'm looking at your face it's i see things differently than what you see that's oh. so interesting but it, it, it is interesting to me you, some of the dark areas of, i see 
He's gonna carve you. Yes. <laughs> so when you see a piece of wood, do you? How does it work? Which comes first? Do you have an idea, and then you're like, okay, I want to do a fish. Yes, Let me you, find a piece of wood, or do you find the wood that first? That, or you find somebody would want something, and okay. so on. And you'd say, I have a. There's a fellow for who's a football player from up north, and he wanted some golfers. And he says, GT, that's what I go by. He says, I need some golfers. Well, then you start looking at things, and you look, and as you car, then I, I believe. Some of your character comes out, and I mean, I am a character, and, and so some of them. There's come a lot out. of you in it. Oh, they, yes. Yes, man, there's a, oh, dog got it right. You, I mean, and you never know, but you don't want to give up. And the main thing is, if if you haven't had an art lesson shown, it's if it's in you, by golly, bring it out. Yeah. Yes. I mean, go and try it because we're all. We're all different. Well, you brought us some pieces. We just got to see the fishermen in front of Candace. While we take a little look at some of the pieces that you brought, tell us about the group at Lakewood Ranch, that you, the group of artists that you're a member the, of. The group is a fantastic bunch of artists. There we have, and our show is all individual. They are not, there's nothing from China there. You mm -hmm. understand? It's each person has a very unique, they each person does their own, their own work, and it's all individual, one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And the, the group is just, oh golly, they're just a lot of fun. And the, the town hall is air conditioned, which makes it nice. Yes. And, <laughs> yes, and we were there from nine to four and, there's ears you can move around and it's just, by God, I just enjoy the Crudunkasada. Well, we have enjoyed meeting you and if the rest of the group is anything like you, this is going to be a wonderful oh, yes. event, a great group. You're a wood carver, but there's all types of art. You can meet Gaden Thomas and his work, all of the other artists that are part of this group at the annual Fall Art Show and Sale. That's Saturday, November 17th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Lakewood Ranch Town Hall, which is air conditioned. <laughs> For more information, go online to caalr.com. Coming up next, we got some fun news from one of our viewers. Christmas Traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. We believe in patriotism. We believe in our nation's youth. We believe veterans earn their benefits through their service to our nation. We believe in a strong national security. We believe in our country. For 100 years, veterans have been impacting our nation through the American Legion, and we believe it makes a difference. If you believe, learn more at legion.org slash we believe. Teachers inspire our children and promote a lifetime of learning. So ABC7 and Get A Lot Motive want to honor these chalkboard champions by giving them the chance to win $500. But we need your help. Go to mysuncoast.com slash chalkboard champions to nominate an outstanding teacher who's really making a difference. And each month we'll deliver $500 to one teacher in Sarasota County and one teacher in Manatee County. Go to mysuncoast.com and nominate your chalkboard champion today. We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 
30. 70. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason, because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. ABC Sun is the most watched, most trusted news source on the Sun Coast, and we owe it all to you, our loyal viewers. Thank you for making us number one. Well, we got a fun email from a viewer. Elizabeth said, I love Linda's hair. Really pretty, natural, youthful. Well, I know that Linda's very happy oh, to hear that. Thank you, Elizabeth. That. <laughs> thank you, Cutting Loose. Yes. I have nothing to do with it. I just sit there and they do it. But Linda, such I don't know about the natural part. <laughs> <laughs> well, such positive or feedback <laughs> about your hair has did make me think, well, what has Linda's hair looked like over the past? Because we see you every day, so oh we don't boy. notice small changes. Oh boy. So I think our producer, Matt, with, with your help, I believe. Oh, yes, I believe that was in Atlanta <laughs> in the you 60s and so 70s. Oh yes. my I could have really tall hair back then with a little help of that, spray That's hair. about a foot of hair, isn't it? it? That's is. pretty high. I'm so proud. <laughs> you look exactly the same. It took yes. tall decades. Sure I do. That was, what, 50 <laughs> oh, years yeah, ago? So cute. Now, this was are. recent. Yes, you went very was short, shorter. very short with this cut. Yeah, but um, I like that it. was yeah. that's my current picture, but that's about twenty years old. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> we do have new, yeah, new pictures are coming. Oh, up. that's Aww. what. That, okay, Aww. talk about natural. That is natural. That was when we toured Africa, uh, and they were saying if you ever get lost in Africa, find an elephant because they can protect you. I got my elephant. <laughs> that's awesome. You went a little natural. You went a little loose. I didn't tussle. need to go that natural. No. <laughs> It rained a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Linda, we love your hair. We love that our viewers love your hair. We actually love you. So we're just thrilled. We're thrilled to find uh, good information. Thank we love you, thank you. hearing from our viewers. So please, uh, the compliments are great, but we love hearing all of it. So you can find us online. Go to Facebook, go to Twitter, Instagram, or you can email us directly, suncoastview at mysuncoast.com. You can also watch us live on Facebook Live. All right, next we're heading into the kitchen with Julie Defonce. We are going to up our gingerbread house decorating skills. This is an ABC 7 News Update. Good morning, I'm Jess Dowdrick. Coming up today at noon, a homicide investigation is underway after a man is found on fire in the middle of a Mayaka City Road. That victim pronounced dead on the scene. We'll tell you what we know about the victim so far and any potential suspects. And five suspects are arrested. One remains on the run after a string of statewide smash and grab burglaries across the state. We'll have the latest on those arrests and the link these alleged hole in the wall burglars have to the Sun Coast. Now let's check in with Berkler meteorologist John Scalzi. The frontal boundary having sunk south provides us with a northerly wind that will draw down some drier air and some much cooler temperatures. Also, the rains will end and we'll get some late day clearing for a sunnier day tomorrow. Winds will pick up though, that's the thing. We'll watch for a rip current advisory up for our area waters and for a small craft advisory as well. We'll detail just how cold it'll get today at noon. Helping families with mesothelioma is all we do. My firm has been offering a free book on mesothelioma for over 10 years. Since that time, hundreds of people with mesothelioma have trusted us to represent them. We have local offices throughout the U.S. and there is no risk to you. Mesothelioma really is all we do. Call us at 1-800-485-6000. That's 1-800-485-6000. Or go to mesoonlylaw.com. Everything all right? Actually, you know how Tom had knee surgery? Sure. We found out Brad's been taking his painkillers. It turns out he's been doing it for a while. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Our nation's servicemen and women show great courage and leadership both on and off the battlefield. 
When they transition to civilian life, they can apply the skills and values they learned in the military to the workplace. That's why the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is urging employers everywhere to be smart, bet on a vet. Hiring a veteran is also a great way to show your appreciation for them. To learn more, call 1-888-44-SALUTE. Recovery from mental and substance use disorders is real. You can recover. It's possible. It happens every day. Never give up on yourself. Discover hope and help. The world is a beautiful place again. Join the Voices for Recovery. For confidential information for mental and substance use disorders, call 1-800-662-HELP. Welcome back. We're here in Rice's Appliance Kitchen with luxury cake designer Julie Defines. Julie, what are we making? Show us this house you're working on. Yeah, I'm making a gingerbread house, and I thought the first thing that I could show you how to do is make a tree because nobody knows how to do it. Oh, yes. We <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you have two bags. Okay. And one is green oh, and one yours. is white. Okay. okay. And I would suggest you pick the green one. Okay. okay. Straighten it out. And on the on the bag, there's like a tip that looks like a beak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So if you if you squeeze down a little bit to get the the icing towards the right. tip of the bag. Yeah. Uh huh. And you want to hold the tip vertical so it looks mm -hmm. like a beak. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. And pick up your ice cream cone. I'm still right. holding the bag. Okay, <laughs> right, okay pick up. So now, oh, what you, you what you're going to do is, yeah, the, this is the tree. Okay, got the okay, tree. This is the tree trunk. So you're going to squeeze and you make a leaf like that. Oh, make a leaf. Oh, oh. we're going to make all the leaves. Wait, yeah. how'd you do that? So you you squeeze oh, and you let go and it makes so a leaf. Cool. Squeeze down. Oh my oh, god! Just oh, squeeze that's so and pull cool. out oh. like that. Oh, wow. Squeeze. I feel out. so accomplished. This yeah. is amazing. That's cool, incredible. huh? Yes. Oh, so that is so neat. Oh. And you can go all the way around. And is this right? What type of um, frosting icing? This is, is this? royal icing. So, so it really kind of holds its shape, which is yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. This, this little tip, though, is what's making the leaf so yeah. perfect. Yep, exactly. So you can go around in circles. And royal icing is really simple. It's just. Um, powdered sugar and meringue powder, which you can buy in one of those craft stores, oh. yeah. and water. And it dries really quick, Yeah. Um, and it's not greasy, which is ah. nice to work with, too. I feel so <laughs> impressed with myself. <laughs> well, they look I'm so, so yeah. much like leaves. artistic. My leaves are getting much better as I go but around. You go. It takes a little bit that. of practice, yeah. So, so when you do a six-foot cake, you do every little leaf like this? Uh, this must take months and months and months. <laughs> yes, that's why I have a lot of patience, and my cakes do take a long time. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. This is a nice, like this really shows though the attention to detail in your decorating. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is just the tree in front of the house. Yeah. And, uh, and I like doing the tree because sometimes, um, you know, the houses could just be candy decorated or they could uh -huh. be piped like the white one over there. But um, if they're candy decorated, you don't really get to practice any kind of technical oh, yeah, sure. no skills involved. Yeah. yeah. So this way, everybody gets to make their own tree. At my workshop, they make a tree. And then if they want to do some of the piping, I can show them. Um, how to do that. So if let's take a little look though at the house that's in front of Candace. So like that's a good point. A lot of times you can throw gumdrops or anything on a, on a house, but this is this is really your art artistry right here. It's yeah. So this is some of the techniques that you would teach oh. um, in the yeah, workshop. Amazing. So you have different kind of tips. You have you know round tips and star tips, and you can create all sorts of different textures and patterns. And it's just kind of let your mind go. It's like one of those doodle books where yeah. you. Oh, I yeah. What they're called. That's how it feels. Yeah. There's new got coloring books. Show from it. Yeah. Did so you make that tree like I this? I made that tree. Yep. That's oh, so look neat. At that. I mean, yep. That's gorgeous. And there's uh, over here on the on the colorful one. There's a. Um, a green tree, and I put a little piece of cereal on the top yeah. as, the, oh, yeah. as the star, because oh, I didn't cute. have a star. It's not Sour <laughs> Patch <laughs> cereal, no. is it? It was not, but now that I know it exists, I might go and get some. The shingles with the cereal, even the, the mat laid out, this is incredible. So, all right, so I if know. we, um, we will get a chance to look at that, um, that decorated home in just a second, but let's get started then on the, the house. Okay, so your other bag That's is filled cool. with white royal okay. icing okay. and a round tip. So okay. basically, you can do what you want. To do the roof, I always say put light stuff on the roof. That's why I put cereal. Uh -huh. um, if you uh -huh. want to do a side of the sense. house, you can trace the windows, and you can oh, yeah. take whatever you want out of these little candy trays and you know make a, a landscape pattern or. I'm going to uh -huh. make icicles on my chimney. Can you oh, show you how to do the shingles out of the cereal? That would yeah. be fun. Yeah. So 
well, you're not going to see it from that side, but if, if you go on the bottom okay. of your, mm -hmm. like maybe half an inch up on your roof, here, half yeah, that's inch. a good idea. I'll flip yeah, it around so I go. can show Yeah. <coughs> okay, so, and you draw a line. About a half an inch up. Okay, draw yeah. a line. Draw a line. My line's a little wiggly. Does that matter? Nope, doesn't matter. You're going to hide it. Oh, good. Oh. And then you take the cereal. This is um, oh. one of those cinnamon ones, oh yeah. just because I like the smell. Crunch, yeah. Golden grams or something. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you, you can use any of those. So if you really have a lot of patience, cereal. you can I use the uh, fiber one. It looks like a hay, oh, yes. a hay <laughs> roof. But that takes, a, that takes a long time. Way. Um, and you just go putting them in a line. Oh, that's so Isn't easy. That cute? How yeah. fun. And then Our. you can alternate the next row so it looks really like shingles. I mean, the hard part for me is not just eating the cereal. So, well, <laughs> so, so this workshop is coming up December 2nd, and people can register yep. to decorate with you at um, USF SM's Culinary Innovation Lab. Yep. They also, all right, if we're not able to make, oh, my shingles fell. So maybe I would be better off to order from you. We were able to order <laughs> gingerbread homes? Yes, I'm going to make, uh, make them to order. And uh, you can choose the colorful candy ones or the all white style. Which the all, they're both beautiful. That's and yeah. you can find more information yes. by visiting Julie online at juliedefonce.com. Thank you, Julie. So Thank much you. fun. Thanks for being with us again. Great way to get more in the holiday spirit. Candace, thanks for bringing us good news. Thank We're going to yes. keep working on our roof. You enjoy the Suncoast views.